thing that um, is extremely important that should be said is that when you are using this uh, open function, whether it's to open your file for reading or for writing, it's very important to close that file again. Um, and I think Amarachi, was it Amarachi? I think that kind of um, made the statement about file needing to be closed. Yes, it was you. Um, so it's important to, to close your file. So the right way to do this would be uh, if you've opened your, let's say, other DNA.txt file, over here and you've done everything that you wanted to do with a file to then take that file that you've opened and put dot close there um, so that the system knows that you're done with it it's not keeping all of us open in memory where things can go wrong um, okay so just um, to let you know that they, this, these aren't these are the built in Python ones, the dot read, dot read line, and dot read lines, but there are plenty of other libraries and tools that can be used for reading in other types of data that might be a bit more difficult. So there is an import uh, CSV where you can um, where you can read in CSV files and it comes with other methods that specific to um, CSV files. Um, or to that specific library that you can use to manipulate the, the information inside of the file. There's also pandas and so there's this import bio uh, from bio, which is your bio Python import secio, and there are plenty of other um, libraries. It's basically a set of a whole bunch of libraries um, that can be used with Python. Okay, okay, so with the writing files, um, I don't, this isn't, I, want, I don't want to confuse you because what you might not have realized is that you've done all of this stuff with just reading the file. Um, you have, so I say here that there are four, base, I should change that to five, five things that you need to take care of when you are going to write to a file. The one is you're going to have to create an output file or name an output file. In this case, it's exactly the same thing because if you, if the file doesn't exist, it will create it. Um, then you need to, again, instruct that file to be open for writing. Now, usually these two here will be done in one go, just like you saw earlier with open your file and then your mode. This is done in, in one sentence or one statement. You also then need to instruct it when it needs to start writing. Um, and this is actually a very important point, although in this example, we won't be able to see how important this is, but depending on where you start to say write, you might get completely different information in your file. But we're keeping it simple for this one here. Then you should obviously instruct it what it should write. And again, this can also take in different forms. We are just looking at writing it in a string format. Um, and if you actually try to, to write it in any other, like you try to write a dictionary into, or you don't know about dictionaries yet, but if you try to write anything except a string, for example, or a number into, um, into your open output file, it would give you an error and it will say that it has to be a string. Then you need to either manipulate that into a string format or you need to import um, some other libraries um, in order to print it into in the format that you wanted. Um, and then obviously you need to close the file. Okay, so this I actually need to change to, let me just do it now before I, okay. So now, um, now we come to the two different ways to write. You can either use the W, which means that you're going to start to write from the top of the file, which means whatever was in that file will be overwritten. Or you can use the A for append, um, and that will, that will start to write after the last character in your file. So not on a new line next to whatever is lost in your file. So you are pending your information or adding it to the end of that file without overwriting what is already in that file. Okay, so let's pretend for example that we're going to open a file 
um, that we're going to call output file.txt. Um, now, let me go to my desktop. Um, here's a file called output.txt. And we're going to write, this is the end of the file into this output file. And we're going to use the append mode, so A. But we first want to see if there's already information in here. Uh, and it says, I exist. I'm the content in the output file. Okay, so let's close this. So now, I'm doing, this is three lines, but I'm actually doing all five of the things that I've said here. So I've created an output, output file name. And if this didn't exist, it would have created it. Um, I'm, I'm telling it, I'm writing into it, I'm telling it what to write, and I'm telling it when to write, when it, so, so over here, it doesn't seem like you really, like there's a difference when it comes to when it's writing, um, but yeah, so depending on how complicated your script is, you're going to either place the right at the top or you're going to place it somewhere in the middle of that file or right at the end, but it's going to comp it's going to print something completely different depending on where you open it um, and where you tell it to write it. And then obviously I'm also closing it. So let's see in a pen mode what is happening to this file. So if I open this file, it says this is the end of the file. Okay, so this didn't overwrite what was in this file. It just appended what was in that file, okay? But now, let's say I'm writing, um, I'm using the W, okay? And I'm, I'm using the same file and I'm writing this line into it. Now, I could have written this also, but this is just for, just, you know, to show you exactly what's happening. Um, and I'm running this. And I open this again, and you will see that everything that was that was in there was overwritten in the file. So you need to be careful and and check whether or not you really want to use the um, append function, or whether you want to write the uh, whether you want to use the w for for overwriting everything that is in the file. 